moment traditional worshippers took to their heels at Yoruba rally protests in Lagos. <laughs> moment traditional worshippers protesting in Lagos took to their heels after police shootings. <laughs> this is indeed a very, very funny story because I I I the reason why it's funny is because I can imagine all these elderly people running. It's indeed it will be a very very funny sight, I must say. It's indeed a very very funny one. <laughs> but let's go to the article and see what this is all about. Some people have failed to yield to the warnings by the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Akim Odumosu, against holding any rally in Lagos State as they took to the venue scheduled to observe the protest. Hmm. A few minutes after the protest began, officers from Lagos State Police Department pounced on them, shooting sporadically on into the air and despising them with hot water guns. Wow! A small group of traditional worshippers were among those seen on the protest ground. Many of these traditional worshippers are women in white robes. After the police started shooting, tear gas, all the traditional worshippers scattered and run for their lives without looking back. According to a report, some people were injured while trying to escape from the police, while a few protesters got arrested. Hmm. Oh goodness, I really can't believe this. And it's indeed a very funny one. Because I just can't stop laughing after reading this article because the way I'm seeing these women running at Taskata is indeed a very funny uh, sight. To <laughs> it's indeed a very funny one. But in any ways, I don't really think that the police should have done that because you should have thought of the age of those women before deciding to start shooting sporadically or even if the shooting was into the air it doesn't matter and the tear gas they were dropping they would have talked of the women's the old ones their health they would have talked about thought about their health because the smell of tear gas alone is not good for an elderly person not to talk of someone with asthma is indeed a very bad one because someone with that kind of ailment um, in that area we might just smell the smell of that tear gas and the person might pass out from there but they didn't think about that they just started doing as they please i thought that if um, in a rally or protest it's only advice for the police to go into action with such and uh, things when the rally is in chaos or when, when there is a breakout of fights during the rally or protest but they didn't they just went there and started acting on the command of their superior hmm. so you must be insulted to have lies hatred comments made to cause laughter where your illiterate father is a bigger idiot and you the product of a street affair i think someone is talking about someone who said is there not bulletproof vest in their body Okay, that is why that person got angry and is saying all sorts of bad comments against that person. But the liar said they didn't fire any short government of lie by liars. Hmm. Don't mind them, liar Muhammad. Okay, let me tell you the fact here. Those security men that fire tear gas and gun at the rally are standing obituary already. When you hear any funny things happen to them and their family in this country before you utter any comments to pity them, please think twice. All their criminality committed in Southeast and Southwest wouldn't go free. Please quote me, okay? I think everyone is against what they did, just like I am, and I'm very, very angry about this because. In a country where they said um, um, democracy, that we are all in the governance during um, in the time of democracy, and yet every the, the people has no right to protest or speak out their mind because if you do, they will come after you, just like what they are doing to Sunday Igbo and Nandekano, who has been a scapegoat to the government of Buhari 
Hmm. I really feel sorry and pity for all the victims yesterday during the rally. And I really feel sorry for all those that participated in the rally and got injured. And the poor 14-year-old girl who died and the police has even refused to release her corpse to the poor mother. Just imagine that. What kind of government is this? The mother has been crying for help, but they refuse to offer the corpse to the poor girl's mother. Just imagine that. Anyways, don't go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening. God bless you. Go.